This is a CBS News special report. I'm Charlie Rhodes with Clarissa Ward in New York. The Prime Minister of Malaysia is holding a news conference to update us on the search for Flight 370. Search planes from Australia and China report seeing large objects in the water this morning in the southern Indian Ocean. And officials in Malaysia are briefing some of the passengers' family members. That Boeing 777 with 239 people aboard disappeared 17 days ago. The search has captivated attention around the world. Let's go to Seth Doan in Kuala Lumpur. He has been talking to the families for days. Seth? That's right. In many ways, family members, of course, want answers here, Charlie, but they do not want to find debris. Uh, we've been talking to family members all night. This press conference just wrapped up about three hours ago. There's really no news except for that this search had continued. Then about three hours later, we got, a, we got word that the prime minister was going to address the nation, in many ways address the world here at this conference center where I am tonight. Of course, families waiting, waiting, hoping not to hear the worst. Seth, did we learn anything about exactly, you know, there was a sense uh, from the prime minister that this essentially, while the search is ongoing, the hope for any survivors is, is gone. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what these family members have been telling us for the last you know, two weeks that we've been here. Uh, they said, of course, they want these answers, but this is not what they wanted to hear. They did not want this Me. debris to be confirmed. It's their it's their worst nightmare. Family members we've been speaking to have said they've had their bags packed. They're waiting for this news, uh, but not the but, but not the news of debris. Let's just confirmed. recap the evidence we think the prime minister is looking at. Uh, that caused him to make this, to have this press conference today. So he said that there was that in Marsac well, satellite technology. Well, you know, we've technology. just been learning what they have been. Uh... In Marsat satellite technology, which had now essentially triangulated or been able to locate uh, the place where the crash likely happened 1,550 miles off the coast of the southwest of Perth in Australia. Holly Williams is in Perth, Australia, the headquarters for the massive search operation. Holly. Good morning, Charlie and Clarissa. Two crucial pieces of information emerged here in Australia today. First of all, uh, the crew of a Chinese search plane that only joined this operation today reported seeing several pieces of white debris in the water around 1,500 miles off Australia's west coast, including uh, some large pieces, square in shape. Then later in the day, the crew of an Australian P-3 Orion search craft said that they had seen two objects of interest, one of them green or grey in colour, Color and circular in shape and one of them orange and rectangular in shape. Now nobody here is saying definitively that this is the wreckage of Malaysian Airlines Flight 370 but, but this is certainly the first uh, visual sighting of anything of interest that's occurred uh, since this aerial Charlie? search began here five days ago. We go now to Bob Orr in Washington. Bob? Charlie, I think this is an attempt by the Malaysians to try to get ahead of the rumor curve. Of course, you know, there have been all kinds of theories of speculation about what might have happened to the plane. The initial satellite refinement said that it either went to the north up over uh, the Asian continent or it went to the south into the Indian Ocean. Uh, families, of course, understandably were holding out some kind of hope that maybe the plane had landed uh, somewhere, even though that seemed like a remote possibility. Now we have the Malaysians coming out saying, look, we've taken another look at this satellite data. Uh, we've really calculated uh, more carefully. We've had time to refine the analysis, and we now say uh, with a certainty, according to the Malaysians, that the plane's uh, journey ended in the southern Indian Ocean. This is an important point because this, uh, I think, confirms in the Malaysians' mind that the plane has crashed, and so now the press will continue to find the wreckage. So that's the first point. But I think we have to understand here that we are a long way still from knowing uh, what happened. We haven't yet confirmed even a single piece of debris. And until they can find that piece of debris, and there have been lots of reports of things floating in the water, but nothing has been absolutely nailed down, confirmed to the airplane. Until we can find a piece of confirmed debris, uh, we really have very little chance of mapping larger data uh, wreckage field to find the plane. So that's the next step. This is a step in the process, Charlie, an important one, and I think designed to give the families 
uh, at least a partial answer here. Thanks, Bob. Okay, Bob Orr, thank you. To recap, Malaysia's Prime Minister says satellite analysis shows Flight 370 ended its journey in the southern Indian Ocean, west of Perth, Australia. Our coverage of Flight 370 will continue throughout the day on this CBS station, online at cbsnews.com, and tonight on the CBS Evening News with Scott Pelley. Many of you will return now to CBS This Morning. This has been a CBS News special report. With Clarissa Ward, I'm Charlie Rose, CBS News, New York. For news 24 hours a day, go to cbsnews.com.